everybody, I'm here with Moni Davuti to talk about Grix's Vampires in Standard. And Moni, normally you're on the news desk with me, so I've got to ask you this weekend, how could you? How could you abandon me? I just thought I could use a little bit of a break and just take to the streets and battle for this one. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough, but you better take the whole thing down. Let's talk about this deck. It's an interesting one for sure. We're gonna kick things off taking a look at the two drops for this deck. Uh, your early drops, your Bloodthirsty Adversary, Tenacious Underdog, and Blood Tithe Harvester. Talk to me a little bit about these cards. Harvester is really the ideal two drop for this sort of deck. Of course, it's a vampire for some of the synergies we're going to see later, but it's a big body. Two drops are great leading into your pretty stacked three mana slot. And just being a removal spell on a body, great against the creature decks, uh, having that ability to make a blood token and sift through your draws, really helpful. And it just sort of does everything. Plus, it's insane with Fable of the Mirror Breaker, which is a nice upside for most two drops. The other big important two drop, Adversary, is just so good in this deck. There's so many spells you want to be flashing back. And then again, Vampire type, really relevant and great with Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Speaking of Fable of the Mirror Breaker, let's take a look at the heavy hitters here in this deck. And there certainly are a lot of them, including what I think is the reason to kind of play this deck, Evelyn the Covetous. So let's start with her, the all-star. Evelyn is the reason we're really trying to have this vampire sub theme in this mid-range deck. Just being a large flash feature, five toughness, really good against a lot of the removal spells in the format, as well as being multicolored, being good against vanishing verse. So it's already a hard to remove threat. It also has flash for ambushing and combat, but the most important thing is as long as you're playing vampires, you're getting a steady stream of cards from both yourself and your opponent. So it's really a way to overload other people when you're playing a resource battle. Corpse Appraiser, another vampire in the deck, just great value period for that card. Now Fable of the Mirror Breaker, a full four copies of this card. Tell me this card's role in the deck. This card just is the best card in standard. It does everything. The Shaman token allows you to get ahead on mana. The card sorting on the second chapter is just extremely good when you're trying to find answers as a mid-range deck to what your opponent is presenting. And then of course, Reflection of Kiki Jiki, that third flip side of it really brings everything together. You have a lot of creatures in the deck like the Harvester, like the Adversary, like the Corpse Appraiser that you really want to be copying to get continued advantage from. And just being able to have that engine means that there's so much more you could do once the saga transforms. So since you're playing Grixis, you might as well put Kato in there, right? The point of the deck really is in the early turns to either go removal spell, removal spell, three drop, or uh, tap land, two drop, three drop. You really want to have those types of curves because all of these three drops just hit so hard when they come onto the battlefield that if you can set up those early turns, it just feels so good from there. Let's take a look at your removal spells here in this deck. The ones I want to point out are Voltage Surge and Soul Transfer. I'm assuming you're turning these cards on most of the time. The Voltage Surge, especially, you do have the treasure tokens from Fable of the Mirror Breaker. You have the blood tokens being made by cards like the Harvester. So you can typically deal four damage with it. And four is a bit of a magic number in current standard. There's gold span dragons, there's Rafines, there's planeswalkers like Kaido, like the Wandering Emperor. So four really deals with a lot. And when it's not on, two can still deal a good chunk of damage as well. So it's a really flexible removal spell for what the standard format looks like. And then Soul Transfer just exiles anything really strong and especially insane with the uh, Blood Tithe, Bloodthirsty Adversary. Just really good being a three mana spell that can do so much and again because you have fable of the mirror breaker it's an enchantment that makes treasure tokens with the token so it can really turn it on all by itself for you to get double value from it well lots of really cool synergy going on in this deck Monty. grix is vampires best of luck to you this weekend and you better win since you left me at the news desk <laughs> thank you